So this is going to kind of be a video diary type thing as I go through a creative process. I've already started kind of a couple of projects in my mind and, and kind of started doing a little bit of research and I've got a whole lot of different things I want to try for. So this is the uh, initial video to say, all right, this is what I'm going to try to do. It is uh, February 26th, 2022, when we're going to start the series or when I'm starting the series and uh, seeing what I can do to create something um, just on my own. See what I can do. We live in a world where people are doing that. They're, they're getting away with being able to use this whole internet medium and online and digital and do their own thing. Things have gotten affordable. I never thought in a million years I'd be able to, to do that when I first started with a tape recorder at eight years old. So here we go. We're going to see what we can uh, come up with. One project I got is kind of more like fan fiction. <laughs> this is going to be funny. I mean, I've kind of got that in my mind for one of these creative projects. I, and I don't know if DC or Warner Brothers or whatever would allow me to do something, but I'm going to try to kind of write a little bit of that on the side and see where that goes out and see if it surfaces one of these days or something like that. So that's kind of one of the ideas I've got, uh, got down and started and started doing a little bit of writing on. Uh, another one that kind of hit me today, and this is kind of where it all got inspired and stuff like that. I had a conversation with, uh, with a coworker of mine, somebody that, that, well, my, that happens to also be my, pro, uh, my protege is what I call her. Um, but she asked me, uh, this week we had the, uh, Ukrainian, uh, the Russian attack on Ukraine and, uh, she's, she's in her twenties. And so this is kind of that first real here's some kind of global war reaction. And, and she made the observation. It really didn't move me that much. They, that her and the other young reporter, uh, on staff where I work, um, at the time of this recording, um, the, uh, that, that they noticed that I wasn't really moved by war the or the announcement of war that Russia attacked Ukraine springboarding off of that, I kind of realized, yeah, you're right. I've been kind of conditioned to war though. You know, I was born in, uh, at, toward the end of the Vietnam war. Uh, there were all kinds of standoffs and conflicts there. The cold war was still, uh, active in the seventies and, and eighties. So there's some kind of weird things, you know, echoes of history there that you can, that, you, that one might be able to play with. And because of that, it's like, uh, well, you know, pop culture in the eighties really, really was kind of interesting because we had this big conversation over annihilation between the United States and the Soviet union. So I kind of got to thinking about it and I'm like, I would kind of like to see if there was a way I could do a self little media, multimedia project, whatever I'm going to do here. And, and, try to do something about the eighties look at annihilation, the end of the world. But what was it like back then when there was one big singular media event, which caught all of our attention. And it's, there's, there's two that I'm thinking of one that happened in 83, one that happened in 84. There's a bit of eighties nostalgia in there. Um, one of the ideas I've got to help with this, so this is going to be a licensing thing and trying to figure out how to finance all this crap and, and all this if I want to make it the way I want to make it. Um, I'm going to try. We'll see. <laughs> I've never done this before. Um, and I've always said I kind of want to do a film. And I don't know if this is going to be a film, a video project, something I kind of put together and throw up on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. But that's, uh, that's definitely something that I'm going to try to do kind of now because that's the now thing. It's a good springboard into, into you know, some of the current events that's going on and things like that. All right. And uh, other projects, other projects. I'm, I, these, I've got some longstanding projects here that I want to work on. And uh, I'm recording them for posterity here. So if I ever get the chance to do it, this is, this is kind of where I look back and say, all right, I can put these ideas down and now there are tangible things that I can look back at and, and see how goofy I was on this video. So anyway, and how I'm going to develop all this stuff and I'm going to just try to use this, like I said, as a diary and see where I can go with it.
looking at doing uh, something with Will Rogers. I love Will Rogers. I've got uh, a few things there, a few ideas bubbling there. One, of course, is a documentary that's based on the uh, P.J. O'Rourke uh, book on his biography shortly. Not, it was not too long after he died when it was published, so it was really kind of top of mind. And at that time, Will Rogers was at the top of his game. I mean, he was promoting aviation and doing all kinds of amazing things, and they were on a flight around the world. They were going to Russia. <laughs> Russia keeps on coming up in this conversation for creativity, which I find funny. Uh, there's that 80s nostalgia looking for that Cold War. But anyway, uh, so the the Will Rogers thing, you know, it's it's something that I'm I'd, I'd like to find a way to do that in some kind of multimedia thing, bring it to life, bring his, you know, because there's some fascinating, fascinating things. One of my favorite stories that captures my imagination is when he was 18, 19 years old. He and a friend went down to Argentina to be cowpokes, and uh, his friend got homesick, so. Will Rogers sent his uh, friend back home with all the money, but then the cowpoke job went away. So he used his roping skills to join a circus to go to Africa and worked his way through Africa to Europe and got back home to the U.S. all on his roping skills. Uh, so the other okey thing I'm talking about is uh, a kind of a story that there's a mix of fiction and reality to it. And it was one of the, it, it's a story that I originally heard on uh, the uh, Oklahoma City or the Norman um, NPR station, KGOU. And they've got this, uh, this feature called um, How Curious. And uh, it was about uh, this, this woman that uh, was called Kentucky Daisy. And so her story was very fascinating and it caught my attention. It caught my, uh, it, I was like, why has this not been like a, a Netflix film or something like that. This is awesome because it's got women's empowerment all over it. And it's got all these different stories, even though kind of the, as the legend kind of boils down and, and things like that breaks down, it was like, of course there was some uh, male alterations to things and stuff like that. But some of the things that she was able to accomplish, uh, and this is during the land run times here in Oklahoma. So uh, I don't know. There's, there's something there that uh, stuck with me. And I was like, man, there's got to be a way to visualize that. There's got to be a way to do something like that. So those are kind of the four projects I've got on the table right now that have been occupying my creative space that I've been slowly kind of eating at the, just the edges. And so, and a lot of it had to do with the tools for creativity. And I've slowly been collecting those. I've got stuff to do a bunch of audio, but I've found that video is something else I need to get in, into. And and now I've actually got the ability to do it. And I'm excited about being able to use all this to kind of live out that dream. Because I've done radio, I've done television, I've done print. And uh, I've done digital now that the, there's been the rise of digital. I've done some social media stuff. And of course, you know, social media will be part of this part uh, more than likely as I tell this story. Um, so I'm kind of excited about what's going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to come up. But I don't have any financing. I don't have any experience, but it sounds like there's going to be some film. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I think I would have a John Boehner moment if uh, I got to be at the Dead Center Film Festival at some point. That's the film festival here in Oklahoma City that I've followed since its conception, since the first one. I'm kind of getting that bug. Getting that bug to figure out how to do this and how to get there. I don't know. I don't know where this journey is. It, it, it ain't like I'm rich. <laughs> Southwest Oklahoma City. South side. Tell all my stories. I, I got caught the other day. Maybe that's another little thing I got to figure out too, is to do some Southside Oklahoma City stories and, and find ways to make videos and visualizations of that. Because I got, the other day somebody called me on and once again, my, my young coworkers called me on it. You say things that like, you just pass them by like it's normal. And I kind of get to thinking about it. It's like, yeah, I treat a lot of stuff that might cause other people trauma or a little shock or pause at least. I don't know. I just treat them differently. I've been, I'm jaded. I've become a jaded old journalist. So I think it may be, maybe it's time for this creativity streak to, to happen. I haven't done it in a while. I haven't tried it in any way in a while. I haven't scratched that itch. 
I think this is going to be a fun, fun, fun journey. So I've already started doing a lot of the research, initial research this morning, and this is where I got obsessed uh, with the uh, the little 80s, the destruction, Armageddon coming, nuclear holocaust, and how we were in the 80s. I think that's going to be kind of fun to kind of try to put together. I think I can make it happen uh, and all that. It's just one of those things where I'm going to continue with the research and trying to have a little bit of fun with it, gather those assets as I can and finance things as I can and see if anybody else likes my weird, crazy idea and see what we can do over the next uh, few months and then do my silly fan fiction every once in a while and then, of course, see, see where I can develop the other ideas. Maybe there's something else that comes along and I can do something. I, I don't know. It's just that way. And, of course, I'm also for hire because that's the way I am. I'm trying to make money. Um. I don't have the fanciest equipment in the world or anything like that, but I am going to get started and uh, see where this creative journey takes me. And I hope you'll enjoy what comes out of it because I think I'm going to enjoy creating some of this stuff. <laughs>